Chromalin sodium is a medication used to treat mastocytosis, a condition where the body has an excess of mast cells. These cells release substances that are important for normal body defense and healing, but an excess of mast cells can lead to symptoms such as diarrhea, stomach-slash-abdominal pain, itching, rash, and flushing. Chromalin sodium belongs to a class of medications called mast cell stabilizers, and it works by preventing mast cells from releasing the substances that can cause these skin and gut problems. It is important to take this medication as prescribed by your doctor, and the optimal timing for taking it will depend on your individual needs and medical condition. Be sure to discuss the daily dosage and timing with your healthcare provider. Before you start taking chromalin, make sure to read the patient information leaflet from your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor, usually four times daily, 30 minutes before meals and at bedtime. If you are using this drug to prevent a food allergy or for inflammatory bowel disease, your doctor may direct you to take it 15 to 20 minutes before meals. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. When taking this medication, do not swallow the ampoules. The contents of the ampoules are used to make a solution. Before using, check this product visually for particles or discoloration. If either is present, do not use the liquid. To make the solution, break open the ampoules and squeeze the liquid into a glass of water. Do not mix with fruit juice, soda, milk, or any fluid except plain water. Stir the solution well and drink all of it right away. Do not mix it ahead of time. This medication does not work right away. You need to use this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it. It may take two to three weeks before you see a benefit from this medication. Your doctor may change your dose to find the best dose for you. Also, do not use this form of chromalin for inhalation, such as in a nebulizer, in the nose, or by injection. It is for oral use, swallowing, only. It does not work to treat breathing problems, nasal-slash-seasonal allergies, or other allergic reactions. Inform your doctor if your symptoms do not improve or if they worsen. Side effects of chromalin sodium may include headache, muscle aches, and diarrhea. If these effects persist or worsen, consult your doctor or pharmacist. Keep in mind that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they have determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. In rare cases, a serious allergic reaction may occur. Seek immediate medical help if you notice symptoms such as rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects. As for the optimal timing and daily dosage, follow your doctor's instructions for the best results. If you are allergic to chromalin sodium or have any other allergies, talk to your doctor or pharmacist before taking this medication. This product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems, so it's important to discuss this with your pharmacist. Before using chromalin sodium, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have kidney or liver disease. It's also important to let your doctor or dentist know about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products, before having surgery. If you are pregnant, chromalin sodium should only be used when clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor before using this medication. Additionally, it is unknown if this drug passes into breast milk, so consult your doctor before breastfeeding. The recommended dosage of chromalin sodium and the optimal timing for taking it will depend on your specific condition and medical history, so make sure to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when taking chromalin sodium. This medication may affect how other medications work or increase the risk of serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not make any changes to your medication dosage without consulting your doctor first. If someone has taken too much chromalin sodium and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can reach out to a provincial poison control center for assistance.
This medication is used to prevent asthma attacks and to treat other breathing problems like coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath. It is not used to treat sudden asthma attacks. The usual dosage is 1 to 2 inhalations taken 3 to 4 times daily, or as directed by your doctor. For best results, it is important to use this medication regularly. This medication works best when the amount of medicine in your body is kept at a constant level. Therefore, use this drug at evenly spaced intervals. Remember to use it at the same times each day. It may take up to four weeks before the full benefit of this drug takes effect. If your condition persists or worsens, or if you think you may have a serious medical problem, seek immediate medical attention. If you forget to take a dose of chromalin sodium, take it as soon as you remember. If you have already eaten, then you should skip the missed dose. Just take your next dose at the regular time, and do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to using chromalin sodium, it's important to keep the ampoules in their foil pouches at room temperature, and away from heat and light until you're ready to use them. Make sure not to store them in the bathroom, and keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. Remember not to flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. Always discard the product properly when it's expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for more information on how to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.